Now to the latest in the state budget crisis. Tonight, all three sides, the governor, Democratic, and Republican legislative leaders, have their budget crisis solution plans on the same table. Now comes the hard part, finding common ground to solve the multi-billion dollar red ink issue. Chief political correspondent Mark Davis joins us live from the Hartford Newsroom. Mark. Hi, Ann and Scott. Good evening, everyone, from the Hartford Newsroom. Yeah, this is the first in what's expected to be a long series of meetings to try to find common ground in cutting about $5 billion out of the budget for the next two years. The governor rushing back to the Capitol from the Coast Guard Academy graduation and was joined by the top leaders from both political parties to discuss their plans. All three sides agree at this point that there should be no increases in, uh, I say at this point, no increases in either sales or income tax. Both Democrats and Republicans have also proposed that Social Security income should be exempt from state income tax. All sides agree there must be at least $700 million in union concessions the first year and over $800 million in givebacks in the second year. But there are some big ticket, big disagreements. Both the Democrats and the Republicans disagree with the governor and don't want to force cities and towns to make a $400 million a year contribution to the teacher pension fund. The state has always bankrolled that fund. Democrats have included tolls, legal marijuana, and a third casino in their plan. All three of those ideas remain quite controversial. And Democrats and Republicans do not have the stomach for the municipal aid cuts in the governor's plan. The budget is 90% there, 85% there for all of us. And there's 15% that we really do not like. All the caucuses, the executive branch. The next 15% is about $2.7 billion. I don't think that's chump change. So I think the 15% is the tough stuff, and that's where we have to work on. And I don't think we're at 85%. Exactly. <laughs> start. Clear. The next thing, uh, a meaningful thing, is to, is to figure out whether there's any labor agreement to be had. And the governor said earlier this week that labor agreement needs to come in days, not weeks. That's why they have been preparing these layoff notices. Live from the Hartford Newsroom, Mark Davis, News 8.